first of a series of webisodes that I'm calling This Is How I Make Music. Um, I'm Seagak. This is just a, uh, this is going to be like a little like kind of rundown of uh, a piece of a project, a uh, song or album or something that I'm working on or have worked on. And I'll just kind of break down some of the fun stuff that I do when I'm making the song. And at the end of the webisode, if you like what you heard, there will be a web address where you can download the song. So, this uh, first one is a song called Sunday, which I wrote a little while ago. I um, wrote it using uh, my Korg R3 and uh, SP404, which is a, uh, just a sampler. Um, the, uh, the idea I had for this song was I was just going to try to write an entire beat from one single sample, one uh, one sound, um, just uh, manipulated with the various effects uh, that are on the SP-404. There's um, 24 different effects here um, that can all be manipulated through the cutoff, the resonance, the drive. You can literally make uh, hundreds of sounds from uh, from one single sample. So. Um, so yeah, so the first thing that I had to do was uh, I had to uh, make the sample, which was a layered sample of a couple different sounds so that I could get a, uh, a variety of frequencies in there to, to be able to manipulate into different um, different percussive sounds for the, the drum beat. Um, and the first thing I did was I took just a CD envelope, got some plastic in it, and I uh, put it on a, like a shirt. and um, you know, just put a put a mic up to it and just hit it a couple times. Got like a, a nice high end crack type sound. Um, the uh, the next sample that I made was uh, using an ottoman, which is um, it's a little like cube for storage and uh, to rest your feet on. Uh, but if you put a microphone inside of it and uh, tap it with your hand, it uh, it makes a pretty good instrument. Um, yeah, just in case you didn't know what a ottoman was, I I didn't before I got one, but they're, they're pretty cool as an instrument and other things, if you like that kind of thing. Anyway, so, took those two samples, I layered them on top of each other, and I sampled them into the SP-404. Um, which I then, you know, I signed to a, uh, to a key, and then I um, I ran the sample back out into Pro Tools, and just hit the sample maybe 50 or 60 different times using the various effects, um, turning knobs, manipulating, uh, getting all kinds of crazy different sounds, and like I said, I think I got about 50 or 60 different sounds throughout uh, just from that one sample. Um, one of them being uh, using the subsonic. Um, uh, effect in there which gave it a really nice kick drum sound. I used some EQ to get uh, you know different different sounds and uh, you know pitch shifter and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and then I had the uh, the tedious task of going into all of these samples and finding the ones that sound good, the ones that I liked, and uh, cutting them into all the various samples. Um, I then made a bunch of tracks, uh, put it on grid mode, so that I could assign um, all the different percussive sounds to different areas to make a drum beat. Um, and here's uh, here's what it sounded like when I was finished. Then um, once I had the beat laid down, I laid some keyboards down. A little later in the song, there's some uh, acoustic guitar and other uh, synths and things like that. Just um, yeah made the song uh, complete, various instruments, and uh, that's how I 
made the whole beat out of one sample. Um, if you like the song, um, here's the web address where you can download the song. Thank you. See you next time.